Hi there and welcome back. Um, so, the best path to net zero human emissions by 2050. Um, just for context, um, humans emit about 50 billion tonnes of carboniferous material into the atmosphere every year. Um, and the atmosphere weighs about 5 million billion tonnes. Um, so that's like 10 parts per million every year. I'm pretty sure. Um, so 10 ppm, <clears throat> if you like, or 10 grams per tonne. So technically we're making the atmosphere heavier as well as putting more carbon material uh, into it, CO2 and, and whatever else. Um, now Best Path to 2050 is a website that has a list of companies um, that can certainly help with that. Obviously the measurements very important, so Novatech is in there. Um, Australian company, Australian listed company, NVQ, with their technology direct from meter to blockchain. And also um, there's Undo Carbon that um, does um, enhanced um, rock weathering by using basalt fines as uh, green fertilizer. Um, and that's got a huge uh, future potential in terms of being a, a clean, green, successful offset, practical market solution offset <clears throat> to CO2 emissions. Um, so that looks um, quite good. Then there's a range of others that are the future of mining and mineral processing with zero or no waste, or very little waste. Um, and there's some turquoise hydrogen as well, so where you take natural gas and you split the natural gas into clean hydrogen and in some cases zero CO2 emissions and just solid carbon because you just still need carbon obviously for graphite, carbon black, graphene, carbon nanotubes and fibres you need carbon, solid carbon you just don't want to be admitting it uh, sorry, emitting it as CO2 gas into the atmosphere or particulate matter for that matter um, so bestpath2050.com <clears throat> is well worth having a look at um, and it's got some of the solutions um, that can get us to where we need to go and with COP29 on now um, that's certainly helpful because uh, certainly environmental issues become more and more important as there's more and more production and consumption and environmental footprints go up when we want them to go down. Anyway let me know what you think Andrew at keops.au that's Andrew at keops.au. Thanks.